Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's video, we're working on this beautiful Subaru S202. So, it's gonna be a little different in this video as all I'm really gonna be doing on this car, outside of a few little, I gotta pick a few dents out, but someone had rolled the fenders here and the customer wanted to basically de-roll them. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you can see, once I get my light on here, you'll really be able to see what's going on. But you can see the fenders are all blown out um, in multiple places there from rolling. This one's the right front is the worst. The quarter panels aren't too terrible, but you can see there's quite a bit of missing paint and everything else. So I'm going to make a tool to be able to fix these. As you can see, we've got the same thing going on here, same thing going on in the left fender. So I'm gonna do that. I've already picked a few dents out of this car, but they were pretty small. Just some stuff in the fender and the left quarter. So yeah, let's get to making some more uh, tools so we can de-roll these fenders and quarters. So now that I have everything all pulled out, pulled down, um, there's just a few areas where I'm going to need to dolly this. So I'm going to use this hammer and this little uh, dolly or tip. Um, you can use it as a tip or a dolly. This is um, the one that I made in the last video. So this sucker is going to come in handy because it's so small. I'm just going to um, put pressure on the inside and then dolly the rest of this back. So yeah, should work great. All right, so 
all done with the left quarter panel here. You can see we got that pulled all the way back. Um, and I just touched it up, but you can see someone notched this right here. So as good as it's gonna get, I'd be very happy with it. Actually, I am very happy with it. So my tool works great. Uh, especially this is going through two layers here and it did not bend it at all. Um, and it's, yeah, still in good shape. So we're gonna move on to the right side and then get to the fenders. All right, guys, so I made pretty quick work out of this side. Um, it's always kind of a trial and error when you're doing this kind of thing, especially when you are making your own tools. So well, I'm very happy with how this is, is holding up. Um, it hasn't bent at all um, as far as the tip goes, and it still has the same curve on it that that I put on there originally. So, and that's going through normally. So normally you could just take a regular old slide hammer from the body shop uh, with a flat um, bracket on the end of it and pull that out. But with the way this metal is, you probably would like puncture a hole if you tried to move it too quickly. So that was kind of the idea. I wanted to use a small slide hammer that doesn't have a crazy amount of weight to it. Um, and I wanted to also be able to utilize this in other areas of the vehicle. So most mostly this will be used for fenders. Um, it just kind of so happened that it worked out to use it on this particular job. So anyways, yeah. A little bit of dolly work there and touch up paint and this side will be all set and then I'll move on to the fenders. All right guys, so here I just add some touch-up paint after I got that all cleaned up. And that's gonna complete the repair on the right quarter panel and the left quarter panel. And in the next video, I will be working on the right and left fender. And that should complete the entire repair on this vehicle. Thanks for watching guys.